if you have high cholesterol, you need to pay attention to this next story. Yeah, especially if you're skipping your statins or never even started medicine to lower your cholesterol in the first place. Right, a new study out of Cleveland Clinic found a significant drop in heart attack risk for those who were using that statin alternative. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now to explain. This is a big one, Monica. Yeah, it really is. I mean, especially for those people who have been skipping their statins or decided, yeah, I'm done with it. I don't want to take it. So the CLEAR study followed 14,000 people who can't handle the side effects of traditional statin drugs to lower their cholesterol. So half of them were given bempedoic acid, which is a statin alternative. In March, we reported that bempedoic acid worked in lowering cholesterol. And now the new findings showed it also cut the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death significantly. Well, what we saw was simply stunning. For the combination of heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular death, or coronary vascularization, there was a 30% reduction. If you just looked at heart attack, stroke, or cardiovascular death, those that were treated with the, this cholesterol-lowering medicine had a 36% reduction in events. So Dr. Nissen says the findings are a wake-up call that both statins and bempedoic acid should be used as a preventative in those with high cholesterol. The problem is currently primary prevention is undertreated. More than half of patients with high risk for a cardiac event are not receiving a cholesterol-lowering drug. The other unusual fact of this study is that many people in this study didn't even have a heart attack previously. They were just at risk for one due to high cholesterol. Many of them also had diabetes, which is a risk factor. So bottom line, if you have high cholesterol, talk to your doctor about whether statin therapy or bempedoic acid is for you. And if you can't tolerate the statin, again, bempedoic acid is, is an option. But if you start the treatment, you gotta stay on it. Your risk of heart attack goes up if you start stop taking it even if it helped you get your cholesterol in range. And I think that's an issue that a lot of people have. My cholesterol's great, mm -hmm. I don't need these drugs anymore. Yeah, don't do it on your own, you gotta talk to your doctor. Mm -hmm. So we talk about all these options, but is cost a factor here? Is that gonna be an issue for patients? Yeah, you know, it can be for bempedoic acid because there's not a generic available yet. And the current version can cost about 400 bucks a month mm -hmm. if your insurance doesn't cover it. However, there are numerous types of statins on the market for as little as three bucks a month. So if one doesn't work for you, there are plenty others to try. Right, and you know, kind of speaking about that and options, is there a reason why someone might not be able to take a statin? Yeah, there's a lot of side effects that uh, the most common though is muscle pain or muscle damage, but it can also affect blood sugar, which isn't good for diabetics, your liver, and in some cases, it may also cause memory loss. The side effects though are more common in women. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm sure you're gonna keep a close eye on this one for us, yeah. Monica. Sure. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank Thanks. you.